grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are glad and we're rejoicing in it. It is a good day to be alive. It is a good day to be in prayer with each and every one of you as we have heard the scriptures say that men ought always pray and not faint. We know that the scriptures teach that the effectual fervent prayers of righteous men and women, they do avail much. We hear the words of Jeremiah, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. And as always, that promise of Jesus in Matthew chapter 7, asking ye shall receive, seeking ye shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, everyone who knocks the door is open unto him. For if you being evil can give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give you good things? if you would ask him for it. And so we're grateful for this opportunity to gather around prayer. We're grateful for this opportunity to gather around prayer. We know that we've been involved in a time of prayer and fasting here as a church family. We've been involved in a time of prayer and fasting as a church family, and I am uh, grateful to all of you who have taken the challenge, who heard the voice of the Lord through the vo voice of your pastor and accepted the call to join us on this fast. Now, uh, I, I want to remind you of our commitments. I want to remind you of our commitments during this time of prayer and fasting. Um, let me see if I can get it on the screen for you. There we are. And so we're fasting through the month. We're fasting through the month of February. We began on February the 1st and we'll continue through February 28th. And uh, we're offering, as always, three fasting tracks. This, uh, this month we're fasting through one meal each day for some of us. Others of us, others of us are fasting from one food item for the duration of the fast. Some of us are taking the challenge to fast through one meal and from one food item for the duration of this fast. And so uh, I'm grateful to each and every one of you uh, who are participating and I'm encouraging you that if you've stumbled in your fast, if you've stumbled uh, in your consecration, pick back up and keep going. We understand that sometimes we forget sometimes or, or to even use the, the words of Jesus the spirit is very willing the spirit is very willing but the flesh is weak and because of the weakness of the flesh sometimes we stumble and fall that's okay pick your fast back up pick your fast back up make your commitment one meal a day fast through that one meal a day fast from that one food item uh, for the duration. Or if you're like me, you're going to combine the two and I'm fasting through breakfast and I'm fasting from coffee. And uh, I'm asking the Lord to carry me through to the end of the month. Because on March the 1st, I'll probably run to Starbucks, get me a cup of coffee, or, or, may or, or maybe, maybe March 1st, uh, if baby Kendall hasn't made it already, I'll make a visit by Metro Diner and get me a chicken and waffle and coffee. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. 
Also, a part of our time of prayer and fasting has been a time of weekly prayer together. And we've taken the weekly, uh, we've taken the typical uh, pastoral night of prayer that would be on the third Wednesday of the month. And we've, and we've planned to pray together every Wednesday throughout the month of February. Now, allow me to remind you of our foundational scripture for our time in prayer and fasting. Normally, we use the New American Standard Version, but I really like the New International Version of this pastor in Ezra chapter 8, verse 21 and verse 23. Ezra says, I proclaim the fast so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask him. Here's why we're fasting. We're asking God for a safe journey for us and our children with all our possessions. Ezra's testimony at the conclusion, verse 23, we fasted and we petitioned our God about this and he answered our prayers. I'm going to say that one, I'm going to say that last verse one more time because this is just such a blessing. Ezra said, we fasted and we petitioned our God and he answered our prayers. Our target, our focus for this time of prayer and fasting, our focus and our target for this time of prayer and fasting is that we really want to see God. We really want to see God preserve us give us a safe journey us and our children and our possessions and so we're taking this time to fast and to pray and to position the Lord and we trust that like he answered for Ezra he'll answer for us now, as I was sitting in the presence of the Lord today, contemplating what we should focus our time of prayer on, that, that lesson from last night's Bible study, from last night's deeper Bible study, kept resonating in my heart. It was turning over in my spirit that God is using the events of our lives to shape us and to add to us what is lacking, what is needed so that we'll be ready for our next level, for our, our, our assigned, our appointed time for the fulfillment of our purpose. And so if you'll permit me, allow me to re just reiterate a couple of scriptures from our study on last night and then we'll pray. I especially want to reiterate James 1 Consider it all joy my brothers when you encounter various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing turn with me just a few chapters backwards from James chapter 1, the, the previous chapter is Hebrews 13, and the chapter before that is Hebrews 12. Al allow me to read to you from Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12 says, beginning at verse 1, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us 
and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. I want to encourage us tonight in prayer. I want us to spend this, these few moments that we have together around prayer. I want us to bring in our minds and I want us to ask God to give us the endurance to give us endurance to help us not give up to help us not throw in the towel in the process remember this fast is about God giving us safe journey safe passage us and our children with all our possessions and we're asking him to give us this safe passage, but we're also asking him to give us the endurance to continue on the journey so that we'll end up at the place that he's designed and that he desires us to be. Come on, let's bring it our minds. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We sing praises to your name, oh God, praises to your name, oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I've not asked you to come in all night. Can you come at this? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put it in the comments. Oh, God, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father. Praise your name, Jesus. Glory be to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, help me praise them. We're coming in to prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Would you type this? Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you, Jesus. My soul loves you. My soul loves you, Jesus. From the bottom of my heart, To the very depths of my soul, I love you, Jesus. And we've come to give you praise and thanks. We've come to give you praise and thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your compassions. Thank you for your long suffering. We cry with the angels, hold, hold, hold. Holy is the Lord. God Almighty, the whole earth is full of his glory, we shine, oh my, we cry holy, come on in Jesus, come on in, we're waiting for you, we sit and we wait, we wait, we wait. We can't rush this. We sit before you and we wait for you. For your spirit helps our infirmities. It makes a decision for us with moanings and groanings that cannot be uttered. Oh God, we thank you for Jesus. Whoever lives to make intercession, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for the communion of the saints. We thank you for the communion of the saints. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you didn't save us as an island unto ourselves. But you gave us many brothers and sisters. gave us a home in the family of faith and we say thank you so that we're no longer children of disobedience oh, but the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we've not received the spirit of bondage but the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father And if we are heirs, we're heirs of God. Join heirs with Jesus Christ. And we just want to tell you thank you. 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 
We can't express how much we love you because you've been so good to us. It's of the Lord's mercies that we've not been consumed because his compassions, they fail not. His mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I will say of the Lord, he is my portion. I'll say he's my refuge, my God, and in him will I trust. Oh God, my great praise is that I trust in you whether on the land or on the sea. I trust in you. I trust you with my whole heart. And I don't lean to my own understanding, but Father, in all my ways, I'm acknowledging you. And I'm trusting you to direct my path. Oh, God, I trust you. For you said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for the right mind. Thank you for the activities of limbs. Thank you for the protection of family. Thank you for safe passage to and fro here and there. Lord, we say thank you. And Father, we stand with David and we say, Father, Father, we've sinned against you. Against you and you only have we sinned and done this evil in thy sight. So, Father, forgive us. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Remember the blood and forgive us. Remember mercy and forgive us. Oh Lord, would you forgive? And Lord, we don't plead, we don't beg, we just stand on your word, for your word said that if we confess our faults and our sins to you, that you'd be faithful and just. Hallelujah. You be faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. Forgive us of all of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And we say thank you that you weren't satisfied to just cleanse us and to forgive us. But Lord, you even took our guilt away. And as far as the east is from the west, you've separated us from our sins. And we say thank you. Oh, God, when you shed your blood on Calvary, it was for the sins of humanity, past, present, and future. And so, God, we thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you that we're saved, saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that we've been saved snatch like a brand from the burning and we want to say thank you thank you for salvation thank you thank you hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus for salvation Lord, thank you for saving us from every sin. 
No sin is too great for you. We want to say thank you. Glory, glory, glory. We want to say thank you, Jesus. Hmm. We want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving us. Not only for saving us, but Lord, we thank you that you're sanctifying us, sanctifying us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit at work on the inside. Thank you for how he's using the word to wash over us. Make us holy. To make us righteous, to make us blameless in love. Lord, we thank you that we're saved. And now, Father, we commit ourselves to you. And we ask you to fill us again with your Holy Ghost. We thank you that he dwells on the inside, but God, we need to be filled with your power. Oh, 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 oh. Fill us again with your power. Yes, Lord. Fill us again with your spirit. Spirit. Mm. Yes, Jesus. Woo. Fill us again. Fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us. Fill us again with your spirit. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Fill us again with your spirit. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us. with your power for you've not given us the spirit of fear yes Lord but of power and of love and of the soundness of mind fill us again Jesus we need a fresh filling of your power we sit and we wait on you We sit and we wait on you. We hear the old church saying we sit as empty pictures before a full fountain crying, feel us again. Yes, Lord. Fill us for the work of the ministry. Fill us, fill us, fill us. Fill us so that we walk in anointing and power. We need your filling. Mm. We need you to fill us, Lord. We want to walk in wisdom, but we need your spirit. We want to walk in authority, but we need your spirit. We want to walk in purpose, but we need your spirit. Ay, 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 ay. So 
So now, Lord, we come. Yes, thank you for the entrance. Thank you for giving us entrance into your presence. Yes. Thank you for giving us entrance. Now we come. Now we've come to pray. Now that we've come to pray, we ask you to give us safe passage on our journey. We don't know what 2022 holds. It's just February. But we ask you in Jesus' name to take us through safely. Give us what we need to endure. Give us what we need to endure. Give us what we need to endure. Hallelujah. Give us what we need to endure. Lord, you told us of a day of trouble. You spoke to us of a day of calamity. You spoke to us of a day of affliction, of shortage and famine. You spoke to us in the way. And before we ask you, we want to thank you for revealing all things. The deep things, the secret things by your spirit. Thank you. And we want you to give us the time to prepare. We're still praying that same prayer. Lord, give us the time the time to prepare. But not only the time to prepare, but give us the endurance that our faith won't grow weary. That our faith won't faint. Lord, help us not to give up. Mm. Ooh. All right. Help us not to give up. Help us not to burn out. Mm. Help us not to burn out. But give us endurance. Lord, we pray against fatigue. We pray against fatigue and tiredness and weariness. Yeah, right in there. We pray against tiredness and fatigue and weariness that leads to the burnout. Ah, yes, Lord. Lord, we can't do this without you. We can't make this journey without you. So we're going to ask again and ask again and ask again. Lord, would you help us to endure? Lord, would you help us to stand? To stand. Ah. Woo! Help 
us to stand against the evil day. Mm. Yes, Lord. We pray that you dress us in this armor. That our loins would be girded about with truth. That our passions will be tempered by the truth. That the fire of our passion will be tempered by the truth will be girded will be gripped by the truth no 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 Passions, our passions, the fire in the belly. May it be girded. May it be girded. May it be gripped by the truth. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Not only our passions, but our hearts. May it be guarded by the breastplate of righteousness. May our heart be covered in righteousness. Our thoughts, our emotions, our decision making, our conscience, may it be covered in righteousness. May our thoughts towards one another be righteous. May our responses be righteous. May the decisions that we make be righteous. May our conscience be so consumed in righteousness. that we walk in righteousness. Oh, God, help us to be righteous. Not just positionally righteous, but, but practically righteous. We thank you that the justification by faith has made us righteous. It was imputed to us by faith. We thank you for that, but Help us to live out that righteousness. Day by day. Step by step. Word by word. Act by act. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. To be righteous. And help us. To shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. May our way of life be consistent with the gospel's lifestyle. May our way of life be consistent 
with the gospel. Help us not to preach one thing. Oh my. Help us not to preach one thing and to live another. Oh, help us be ready to live out our faith, to deny ourselves, to take up our cross daily, to follow after him, to crucify the flesh, to be crucified with him. So that the one that lives is no longer I, but the Christ that lives in me. Help me to live consistent with the gospel. Help me to take the shield of faith, which quenches every fiery dart. Give me such a bold stance in my faith that whatever happens, I still believe God. Yes. I still believe God. I still believe God. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, I still believe God. I believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in his Holy Son, Jesus, the only begotten of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, dead, buried, crucified, dead, buried, descended into the netherworld, and on the third day rose from the grave. I believe that he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God where he ever lives to make intercession and from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost. The communion of the saints. The Holy Catholic Church. The Holy Universal Church. The resurrection of the dead life everlasting regardless of what comes what goes I believe I believe God and I thank God we thank God for the helmet of salvation Helmet of salvation that covers our thoughts, that covers our vision, that covers our hearing, that covers the senses. Oh, we thank you for the saving of our souls. Thank you for the saving of our souls. Thank you for the saving of the soul. And in saving the soul, you've rescued the soul. You've rescued me from all sin and shame. And I thank you that you've put into my hands the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. That you've given me your holy word, both written and revealed, that I might be able to defend the faith once delivered unto the saints. Thank you that the devil is no match for the word. Thank you that the wicked one is no match for the word. 
that your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts between the marrow and the bone. It discerns between the spirit and the soul. It knows what is good and what is evil. I thank you for your word. And you said that you gave us these things so that we'd be able to stand. You gave us these things so that we'd be able to stand. So that we'd be able to endure the attacks of the enemy. So that when he comes in like a flood, the standard of the Lord will be raised up against him. So that no weapon formed against us would be able to prosper and every tongue that rise shall be condemned. Give us to endure. Give us to persevere. Give us to stick to it. Give us not to give up. Help us not to be weary in well-doing. Help us not to be weary in well-doing. For in due season we'll reap if we faint not. For the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong but to the one that endures to the end, you promise you give a crown of life. So Father, we're asking tonight, help us to endure the journey. Whatever is ahead, whatever is coming in March, whatever is in April, May, June, July, whatever is in August or September, October, November or December or 2023 or 24 or 25, whatever lies ahead, give us to endure. Help us to run our race with patient endurance. Help us not to be sidetracked by the things going on around us, but cause us to focus our eyes upon Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured. Give us to endure. Give us to endure. We don't want to draw back. We don't want to draw back. We don't want we don't want to draw back. We don't want we don't want to go back. There's nothing there for us to go back to. There's you have the words for eternal life. Where can we go? To whom else can we turn? To who else can we look? Who else is worthy of our affections and our praise? Help us to endure. And as we endure, we'll give you glory. As we hang in here, we'll worship while we wait. While, while we endure, while, while we walk through, while we make this journey, we don't know what's ahead. But we do know what we'll do. It's not a question of how we're going to respond. We know what we're going to do. We will bless the Lord at all times his praises shall continually be in our mouths come on if you're going to make a commitment to praise the Lord come on 
put a two in the chat. Yeah, let's do a two. Come on, if you're making that commitment, Lord, whatever comes, whatever happens, you'll always have our praise. You'll always have our worship. Come on, give me some twos in the chat. You'll always have our thanks. We'll always give glory to you. We'll always bless your name. And so we don't wait until these things come. We don't wait until these things be. But right now, today, we take this opportunity to pour out our praise upon you, to pour our love upon you for your good. And your mercy is everlasting. And your truth endures to all generations. I pray you were blessed. I pray you were blessed by this time of prayer and intercession tonight. Yeah, I pray that you were blessed by this time of prayer and intercession. Uh, e even in your own personal prayer time over the remainder of the week, I want you to start asking the Lord to help you in the area of your endurance. That's what I'm asking him for. To help us in the area of our endurance. Listen, it is been so good to spend this time with you in prayer. I love you so much. I'm always praying for you. I want you to know that we're all in. We're all in. Now, I'm going to ask you to do a favor. Do me this favor. And share this with your community. Put this on your timeline. If you're watching on YouTube or the church website, share this with five of your friends so that they can be edified and encouraged by this time in prayer. If you're watching on Facebook, we want you to, to like our Facebook page, Ready Beulah Baptist Missionary Baptist Church, so that every time we go live, you'll be notified. If you're watching on YouTube or greaterbeulah.church, we want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the website, so that whenever we go live, all of our updates will come directly to you by way of notification. We want you to share that, and we want you to help us get this time of prayer to a wider audience. I love you so much. I love you so much. We're preparing for worship this week. Again, we're fasting all month long. If you've fallen in your fast, pick it back up and continue to run. Continue to run. Get up and try it again. I love you. Look this way. Let me bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord give you his grace. The Lord turn his face towards you. The Lord give you his peace. In the name of the risen Savior, we pray and we ask it all. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. I love you so much. Until we meet again, peace. <laughs>